Hello friends, editor Jeremiah here. So before the video starts, um, I wanted to hop in here and just kind of update you guys a little bit. Um, so when I filmed this video, uh, it was about a week ago, I wanted to get it out a little bit sooner, but unfortunately that did not happen. Uh, however, uh, since I've recorded this, Hollow Scream has announced some stuff. So I'll put that obviously um, in the edit as well, probably just through words and or, you know, text on screen. Um, and then I also had some audio issues uh, with the last like few clips of the video. So you'll see me again uh, at the end of the video, uh, kind of going over the end and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you soon. <sighs> Hello, friends. So today I'm at Busch Gardens, Tampa. Why am I at Busch Gardens, Tampa? Well, I'm doing a video that I have not done in quite some time, actually. Uh, we're talking about Hollow Scream. We're gonna do a little Hollow Scream update for this season. Um, don't know why I felt the, uh, I guess, urge to do this, because I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, I'm here in August. It's absolutely miserable. It's so hot. But we got about a month, almost a little over a month, uh, left to go for Hollow Scream. So I figured, why not do something I haven't done in a while? Do an update video because there's a lot of things that have changed this season with the event. Uh, so we'll talk about that. Uh, kind of show you guys some of the props that they have around for the scare zones. And um, yeah, and actually I'll, I'll show you guys the route that I take uh, when I'm here at Hollow Scream as a guest and see how much different that is from your route. So let me know what you guys do when you get here for HOS. Which way do you go? What house did you hit first? All that stuff. So let's get into it. So after you enter the park, I always go to the left, so right from this area, make a left, takes you right over to here to Junkyard, which surprisingly enough, a lot of people don't know that this is here. Uh, a lot of people bypass this, but this is like a scare zone, which um, is almost like a like a trail, because like a trail scare zone, which is pretty cool. It's got like a neat little like um, U shape U shaped route that you can take. I'm very excited for this. It's got a bunch of props from like old scare zones and old houses from um, Hollow Scream from previous years that are like thrown in there. Hence the name Junkyard. But yeah, one of my favorite zones from this season. Uh, it is definitely returning, as you can see. There's props everywhere. So yeah. So continuing on the left side of the park, uh, this is the festival walkway for Hollow Scream. However, this will be the entrance for the new show that they're going to have at Guazi Field. Uh, Fiends, unfortunately, um, is not returning this year, but they will have a new show in Guazi Field. Um, not sure what the show is just yet. Hopefully, it'll be something that is uh, as entertaining as Fiends. I do love Fiends. I'm very sad that it is uh, is gone, but hopefully we'll see Fiends again in the future in some capacity. Also, now that I'm thinking about it and it's on my mind, before I forget, there is one thing I wanted to share about Hollow Scream that is different from this season than previous seasons, which is uh, a bit of a bummer, but this season for September, um, before in previous seasons they would do like the first Friday, Saturday, and then after that it would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday throughout September. And then leading into October, you would get the Friday, Saturday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. However, this season um, in September, they're only doing Friday and Saturdays. There will not be any Sunday event nights for September, which is a bit of a bummer because those were always the nights that were a little bit more slow, so it was nicer that if you could get here on a Sunday, you had more uh, chance to get, you know, everything done in a much quicker time, um, and kind of spend more time at the park doing other things like riding the rides and things like that, not having to focus so much on getting the houses done. So it's a bit of a bummer. I don't know if that's gonna make the Friday and Saturdays in September busier. Uh, I would like to think that's probably what's gonna happen. So just be prepared for a busier. Uh, September for our HOS. So, you might be wondering why I'm staring at bushes and a wooden fence. That is because this is part of Witch of the Woods, like you can see through right, right here. It's like one of the pathways you take to get into the house itself. Witch of the Woods was actually just recently announced that it is returning. One of my favorite houses. I absolutely love like the layout to this house and how you go through one of the old uh, animal enclosure like exhibits just to get into the house itself it makes for a really really cool creepy like feeling walking through all these bushes and and trees and whatnot i actually skipped this house when i first get to the park so i'll make that left go into junkyard go through junkyard and then i skip Witch of the woods and head towards the forgotten 
because that is my favorite house. I always like to get that done first. And it's usually slower with this being towards the front of the park. Everyone kind of rushes to this right at the very beginning. So I like to skip that. And I also skip the house at the very front of the park, which we'll get to. That's actually what we're going to cover last because that's where the new house is going to be. Um, so yeah, let's keep on going. Let's keep on moving. While I'm kind of in this area, there's a look. If you look right past those trees, uh, a little circle right there is the entry into Witch of the Woods. You can see there's like a still statue of a creepy looking cloaked person over there. Uh, you can't, <clears throat> you don't go in through like this way to get into it. This is a, a view that you can get of this house from just outside the little kangaroo exhibit. So if you're ever here and you want to get a nice little peek, obviously don't go past the sign but you can see it from right there. Clearly the road is closed so you can't go in there. While I'm on my way to the next area of the park that we're going to talk about, uh, if you guys like to talk about Hollow Scream, you like hearing talk about Hollow Scream, uh, house updates, house deep dives, updates on the event, all that kind of stuff, I started a podcast called Scream Pod, uh, which you can listen to on uh, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I think we're going on other things fairly soon, but I started it with some two really good friends of mine, Harry and Christy. So. Check that out if you like to hear Hollow Scream updates uh, and all that kind of stuff. You can also follow us on social media at Scream underscore pod underscore on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And the Sesame area, Beyond the Veil, has a new location. So instead of in the shadows, they moved Beyond the Veil over to here, which uh, in my opinion is a fantastic uh, idea because this area gets very dark, which is perfect for the type of zone that this is with um, them having all the black light and neon. It also looks like there's a lot more props than what they had uh, down by Cheetah Hunt. Also, I absolutely despise this music and this is painful. <laughs> God, it was so painful. Can't stand that area. But yes, Beyond the Veil, new location. Uh, in my opinion, a fantastic spot. And another returning zone, Raven's Mill. Another one of my favorites. They actually have this like, little uh, small facade out there. They didn't have this last year. This is like a little tunnel that leads into it. They normally have, um, oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Pumpkins that are hanging from the top as you walk into the rest of the zone. Looks like they moved around a few of the props. I think that was in a different spot last year. And then as of right now, uh, they had a giant like windmill here last year. I don't see it, so I don't know if that means they're not going to have it, or it's just not built yet. This has a roof. I don't remember if this roof was here last time. I think it was, but I hope they uh, they bring it back. I think this time last year it was already built, so I don't know. It was a really cool feature though, so here's hoping. And right over here, next to Smoke House, is the entrance of the Forgotten. So this hasn't been like, um, it hasn't been announced that this is coming back or not yet, as of recording this. Uh, however, I would like to think that it will still be here. It's only been here for two years, this would be its third season, so I'd be surprised if it's not. I would be very sad if it's not, because this is my favorite house. And I want to go through it at least one more time before they destroy it, but so far, nothing. Uh, you can't, there's no like props out here normally or anything like that, but no announcements on this just yet. Also, another new change for this year is that uh, the shortcut is now in Stanleyville, the Stanleyville area of the park. Um, they haven't used this like area before for a scare zone. They've used the like bypass, the Skyride bypass before, but not the area in front of it. So uh, last year this was down by the elephants, uh, just past Cheetah Hunt. This year it is in Stanleyville. So Shortcut is obviously returning. I don't think they've announced that yet, but um, it's interesting to see it here. I think this will be a better area for it uh, much darker for sure and the other cool thing is that hidden in like little bushes and stuff around the scare zone they have like the tombstones and stuff they have some here and they also have some i mean not film these random people <laughs> they also have some in the bushes over here as well so it'll be interesting to see how this area looks. Last time the shortcut was over here was during COVID, but it was in the actual like bypass area for Skyride over there. So 
I'm interested to see how it looks in this area come the start of HOS. Also, uh, originally they had props set up here for a skeleton crew uh, in like the, J the Jingala area, but unfortunately that um, was cut from the event this year. So I guess they took the props away and now there is not going to be anything in this area for HOS this season, uh, unfortunately. A bit of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. And another new zone this year uh, is going to be Demolition Derby. So Crash S Clowns is no longer um, going to be here at the bumper cars. It's going to be Demolition Derby. So it'll be, it'll be like a bunch of different, I guess, uh, like different themed teams. They're going to go into the bumper cars area and battle out. And then I'm assuming we'll have some more props and stuff and people running around here scaring. As you can see, there's like a little mural for that, but yeah, no longer Crash Us Clowns, now it's Demolition Derby, which I'm pretty excited for, honestly. I think it's a pretty good theme. Also, you guys might recognize this. This is uh, reused from a previous zone in the park, in the uh, Midway Maniacs zone. It was the ticket booth, but now it's for Demolition Derby. All right, hear me out. I just thought of this. Put a scare actor in here. I'm sure there's someone small enough somewhere to fit into this, but this would be a perfect scare. If anyone from HOS is watching, please do it. Something else that was announced already is that the return of residents um, is back. Uh, if you notice, though, there is no uh, coaster here. Sand Serpent has been taken down. Um, Sand Serpent's last day was a few weeks ago. Uh, it was also Sand Serpent and the kitty rides that were over here. This whole area is going to be uh, a new ride at the park. There's no um, announcement on what that ride's going to be. However, uh, come HOS, this will still be the entrance into the residence. It is still a Christmas theme. Um, hopefully the construction of this new ride, whatever it be, it may be, um, will not mess with the entran entrance or entry into this area. Might be a bit of a, a hectic little area, but we get residence again as a Christmas theme. My favorite version of the house, to be quite honest. Um, I, I did not enjoy the first versions of residence but i do like the christmas overlay of it so uh if you guys have not done that definitely fun and usually after the forgotten i come to residence because it is towards like the back of the like park in the back of uh, the hos event um so there's not as many people over here so that's usually what i do is i start with like forgotten because it's towards the back and then i start with residence because it also doesn't have too much of a line but uh this is also the last like area that's going to have anything HOS related um, until we get towards like Cheetah Hunt. And we'll go over that once we get over there and all that stuff. But what do you guys think uh, Bush Gardens Tampa is going to add over to this area? Only time will tell. All right, as we continue on, uh, last season this was Voodoo. We're like in between Santa's house for Christmas Town uh, and then like the Nairobi uh, train station. Uh, but last year this was Voodoo, so they still have the wicker, um, I don't even know what you would call this, but like the wicker man, I guess, uh, here. However, Voodoo has been cut from my understanding, uh, and it's not going to be here this year. So I don't know if this is going to stay here uh, for the season, or if this is just here to kind of like promote um, the event. As you can see, they are somewhat using it to promote the event right now for scare actors and tickets. But there will not be anything here this season either unfortunately there's something a little bit that way however nothing here a bit sad but it is what it is uh, this area as you can see this kind of like motel looking area is for the Vegas themed scare zone that they're gonna have uh, this is where Beyond the Veil was last season um, so far the only props they have is like what you just saw those like little like motel hell or motel not motel hell the motel looking um, buildings uh, but it's gonna go through there and then over to like this little area by the drop of cheetah hunt but so far the only um, prop they have out is that uh, like those like little motel buildings so we'll interested to see what else they have also Stranglewood has been announced uh, that it is returning again a fantastic house if you guys um, 
have not seen this house and or have been through it, uh, we have a pretty cool uh, episode of ScreenPod where we did a deep, fi- uh, deep dive excuse me, uh, of this house on that episode. Um, so you can watch that, listen to it, and you can get some pretty cool details of this house. Um, however, yeah, this is literally one of the, like, the greatest houses that, that, that Hollow Scream has had uh, in quite a long time. Also, a fantastic use of the like structure and infrastructure of this building to make it look like a house. It's just a fantastic use of this facade. Um, but yes, Stranglewood is coming back. A fantastic house here. I'm very excited. And usually, after I hit Forgotten, go to Residence. After I hit Residence, I come here. I do Forgotten, or I do this house area, and work my way back around to the front of the park, which we will get to soon. Hello again, friends. So this is where I had all the audio issues. Uh, right before we go to talk about the new house, obviously. That's how that works, right? Um, so usually, after I get to Stranglewood or that house location, uh, I always do the very front house last, because typically by that time, everyone is already done that house. They're kind of like towards the back of the park, working their way back around, or they're leaving. So there doesn't really leave much of a line in that you know house location. So I typically try to do that one uh, last. This year, it is the new house where it's going to be D.H. Bagum's Circus of Fear. And with that house being there, uh, it means it's probably going to be pretty busy, um, which, in my opinion, is probably a good idea to get to it towards the end of the night because most people have already probably done it. It's going to be the very first thing that people run to uh, at the very beginning of the event in anyways. So uh, it's probably what I'm going to do this season as well. But yeah, it's typically the route that I usually take to go around the park. Um, we're still waiting for a few announcements. Um, the HOS has to make. There's, I think, a few scare zones that haven't been announced yet. There's props out there, but they haven't actually announced that the scare zones are coming back, one of those being Beyond the Veil, at least as of me recording this portion of it. It's been a week since I recorded that video, but still, uh, they haven't announced that yet. There also has not been the announcement of the show that is replacing Fiends. Uh, Fiends is not coming back this season, unfortunately. I'm very sad about that because uh, it was one of my favorite shows at a theme park haunt. Um, even though it's been kind of like the same thing over and over again, uh, I still very much love that show. So I'm sad that it's gone, and I hope whatever is replacing it uh, is is going to be just as fun and entertaining as Fiends was. But with all that being said, friends, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please check out ScreenPod if you guys want more Hollow Scream content. We put out episodes uh, of ScreenPod every week, which you can listen to on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We're working on getting ScreenPod on other um, like podcasting sites and all that stuff too. So definitely check it out if you want more Hollow Scream content. Consider subscribing if you want Hollow Scream content. Come haunt season, I will be there taking photos, videos, all that kind of stuff at both Hollow Scream uh, Tampa and Orlando. So definitely consider subscribing if that's the content that you'd like to see. Uh, and until the next video, guys, take it easy. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon.